Good morning again. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is time for our first demo of the weekend. And we're going to be talking about the zigzag pattern today. So I'm super excited to show you this. And um, I have made a couple of cards and I've made a layout and I'm going to show you all those and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to um, create this super cool project. So I'm so glad you're excited. Um, first, what I'm showing you here is this is the mix-in paper pack. We've talked a lot about mix-ins in this group. And this is the one that's in our current idea book. And the mix-ins are designed to do just that. Mix in with the other papers that are in our um, current catalog. So these are the patterns that um, I used actually with this the project. So this is one side and then you flip them over and you get a whole new set of patterns. So I just wanted to show you kind of what I was looking or what I was working with, what my um, palette was as um, I was creating this project. Okay, so that's the mix and paper pack. And of course you can add in other things with it, but this was kind of my springboard for this project. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so take a look at this. How fun is that? Okay. Yes, you did. You won this pack. So here, I'm going to show you the zigzag pattern. So what I did is I created it on a four inch strip of cardstock. And then I used that. So I did it all the way across this four inch strip, right? And so it's four by 12. And then I added it to a layout. Okay. So, and then this is the second page. So I made two strips. So I made two four inch strips by 12 inches wide. And then of course, you know, you're covering it up with photo mats and things like that. But this is the, the basic idea here. And I wanted to show you how you could take this um, pattern and use it as like an accent. I mean, you could do this over a whole 12 by 12, um, might be a little bit much, but it looks really cool when you have a four inch strip that you can just put on your layout. So when I did this project, I created my four inch strip first and then I went to my how-to book, and, and I'm going to pull that out for you. And I searched for, so this is my um, Make It From Your Heart, Volume 3. And I searched for a pattern that had a strip that went across the layout. Okay, so I opened it up, and I was like, oh, okay, number 8 has this strip that goes across the layout. So then I turned to page 20, because that's where it says it is. And this is the design that I used. So you can see here that the strip goes across the layout on both pages and then the other elements there. So I used that as like my design board. So this pattern, pattern eight from Make It From Your Heart Volume 3 is this layout right here. So that was kind of my design um, mindset, I guess you could say. So now I have this layout designed, ready to go. The other elements I added, so this peach, uh, or it's white with like little peach circles on the paper. This background is from the mix-ins, so the back of this one is actually like gray and white stripe. And then this color here is peacock. And then I used, um, instead of having three photos here, I put like a little, uh, what we call picture my life card, or like a little, um, accent card here that's from the stitch together pack and then this piece of paper right here is from stitch together too and it draws in more of that peach color peach color it is a sketchbook Teresa and yes I can talk about make it from your heart let's do that okay so make it from your heart we have had close to my heart has had sketchbooks upon sketchbooks upon sketchbooks so let me pull a couple of the other ones out um, this is reflections this is, this is the very first one I ever had. It was called Imagine. Um, and Jeanette Linton, whoa, what's that thing? How do I get rid of that? Oh, why does it have like that on it? Hold on. I don't want that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> is the guy gone? <laughs> Holy moly, that was funny. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
Jeanette Linton has created these scrapbooking sketchbooks for so, so many years. So there are scrapbooking ones, and yes, there are card making ones too. And so these ones are older and they're retired. These you can actually find like on Amazon or in some of the bookstores. I actually have a couple of these um, in my inventory too. But basically like they have a design and then it has um, how, like what papers to use. So I'll bring this a little bit closer. So it says um, B&T paper, that stands for background and texture or your, your pattern paper cardstock, cardstock, cardstock. And then it shows you what to cut these pieces at. And so the sketches that I use from um, in the challenges are using these kinds of patterns. So um, it tells you how to cut the paper and then it gives you, and it tells you like what pieces. So it says B and F. And then when you go up to the actual layout, you can see where you're gonna put piece B and where you're going to put piece F and how you're going to create that pattern. So I actually believe we have used this one in um, one of our weekend crops. So this one might actually be in this group somewhere. But these layout sketches are really cool because it gives you um, the cutting instructions. It gives you like kind of how to put it together. And it gives you artwork ideas. And that's what I love best about it. So this one is called Imagine. This is an old one. Reflections, I think, is like the, one of the very first ones she had. But this one had kind of like single pages that you could match up with each other. Um, super, super cool. The newest one is Make It From Your Heart Volume 3, and it's made in this like super cool, it's six by eight size, so it fits in our Everyday Life album, and this one happens to be pink, and this right here is what happens when you leave your, um, your stamp chamois like wet and hanging on top of it, so it's, you know, it's just got like a little purple hue to it now. But they fit in this nice like everyday life album and I have in this one volume three and I have volume four. Okay, volume four is for cards. Volume three is for scrapbooking. So we do have card making ones as well. So when I'm looking for an idea or for like a layout design and I don't want to just come up with it on my own. Okay, now today's the day that it's going to decide not to fit together. Sure. Okay, so then when I'll come into these books and I'll say, if I have my photos, I'll say, okay, I have four photos. And so I'll look here and all of these tell me that they have four photos. So I'll look and see which orientation my photos are or, um, you know, like, are they portrait? Are they landscape? Do I have um, room to cut them down and so forth? And I'll look for a design that maybe fits what I'm looking for. And so in this instance, I was looking for like a strip of paper on the layout. And so I just kind of opened up to the first page and I saw that there was a strip of paper right there. It kind of caught my eye and I went right to it. So there's lots of different designs in here and the artwork is even more spectacular. It gives you several ideas. It gives you like stamping and journaling and embellishing ideas, like how to add your stickers and your um, gems and things like that to your pages, super fun. And then each layout gives you two ideas of artwork. Okay, so these this one's my favorite. And then when you jump into, so what I did is I put like a big giant paper clip so I know that this is now into my cards. When you jump into the cards, it gives you the same thing. So it has several different patterns for your card making. And if you've done my card kits, you know that I, you'll see, you probably don't know, but you'll see that I use a lot of these patterns because why not? They're great. Okay. And so it gives you um, just great, like these are elevated, like amazing art. So, and it gives you artwork tips on each of them. So it gives you the pattern, what size the papers are, and then it gives you artwork ideas. So these pattern books, the how-to books is what they're called. Make it from your heart. They're awesome. Um, okay. So let's get back into the zigzag pattern. So this is the layout I created. Okay. I already showed you that. This is the card that I created. And so let me bring it a little closer. You can see the zigzag pattern here. And I think it looks really cool. And then the only thing, hi, thanks for joining me. The only thing I had to add to this was my sentiment. So this happy comes from the um, stitch together card making 
uh, stamp and die cut. So it's actually a double layer die cut. And then birthday came from that too. So I just put happy birthday and it was good to go. So that's one card. And then I did the same thing with um, different papers. So this is with brushed papers, brushed papers. And I'm going to talk about brush because it's amazing. Um, but I did the exact same pattern. I built it on the pink cardstock. So that's the zigzag that you see through there. Where this one, I built it on the, the um, pewter gray cardstock. So that's where you see that zigzag come through, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, first of all, I put the dimensions here. I took um, little scraps of paper and I cut them to one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And then I cut them at the diagonal. And then I needed a four inch strip of cardstock. So just so that you know how to do the diagonal cut, I'm just gonna take a piece of scrap paper here and I'm gonna cut it one and a half. I know you can't really see this. I'm gonna move it into the camera. One and a half by one and a half. Okay, so I have a little piece of paper. It's one and a half by one and a half square. To cut the diagonal, I'm gonna put it on my paper trimmer and I'm gonna line up the corners in my cutting rail. So some of you might have, like this has like a little gutter where it cuts and I can line it up there. Some of you might have the wire trimmer, so you're gonna line it up right on your wire. Um, some of your trimmers might be a little bit different. So whatever your trimmer looks like, you're gonna line it up right at your cut line. And then place, so I place my rail down and then I cut it. So now I have two triangles and it's gonna look like that. So we did the same exact thing making triangles with the triangle layout, right? And so now we're gonna take these, and that's kind of where this springboarded from, this kind of idea came to me from. Um, now we're gonna take the triangles and we're gonna make a zigzag with it. So bear with me as I get ready here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on a four inch, this is a four by six inch piece of pink cardstock. So I'm just gonna put it on my, here I'm gonna make sure that it's totally in the frame here. So I'm just gonna put it on my mat here and I have it lined up between the four inch and the eight inch mark. That way I know, you know where my measurements are because I'm going to need to know the exact middle of this piece of paper, okay? And then I have already pre-cut all of my triangles. So what I wanna do is kind of group them into colors just so that I know what I'm working with here. And this um, paper, like I said, is, is called brushed. And this is a retired paper pack, but close to my heart is bringing it back. It's gonna be um, what we call our bring back my pack. Um, we're bringing it back in the month of June. So on Monday, you will be able to order this gorgeous paper. And I'll show you um, the paper pack itself. Or uh, not the paper pack, because I don't have it yet but I can show you some of the patterns. This is actually like leftovers from um, when I had this paper pack like long ago. And I actually found some of these pieces recently. So I was super excited about that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm really just gonna follow this pattern here color wise, like which pieces go where just so it's kind of cohesive. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build on the bottom, okay? And so I have my adhesive. And I'm just gonna um, put adhesive on one of each piece, one, yeah, one of each of these pieces so that it's ready to go. And then I can start building one of each of them. And you can kind of see the patterns that are on all of these pieces of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, okay, I put that on the same side. So now I have to put it on this side. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start with the yellow one in the corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up so that my point is right at the corner of my piece, the bottom of my piece of paper. And that um, right triangle edge is on the bottom. So there we go. And then the next piece is gonna be the green dots. So I'm gonna take the green dots. And it helps if you kind of have a pattern going. That way it's not um, totally random. Like you kind of sort of plan it out and stick with that pattern. Okay, so there's the green. Then I'm gonna do the teal leaves. So I'm gonna put the corner, match up with this corner along the bottom edge. 
And then I'm gonna put my last piece, which is this like floral piece, and I'm gonna butt it up, and it's gonna go to the corner of there. So that's the first layer. The second layer, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna do it two inches higher. So let me put adhesive on, and then I'm gonna put my ruler there so that you can see um, how I did that measurement. So let's put some adhesive. So I need four more pieces, one of each. Okay, so now I take my ruler and I am going to put my ruler right across the middle there. And that's why I lined it up at that between the four and the eight inch mark. That way right at six inches is my two inch mark there. And I'm just gonna put the ruler down there. That way when I put these pieces on, they're totally straight. So I'm gonna start with the yellow and I'm gonna go right up to the edge. Then I need the green that goes back to back with it. Then I need that like leaves pattern. And then I need my floral piece and it goes back to back. So that's two layers of it, okay? So we have two like little mountains, I guess you could say. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna fill in the down pieces, okay? So I need four more pieces with adhesive. I hope this is um, easy for you to see and follow along with. And I don't expect that you're actually doing this with me, but hint, hint, wink, wink. This is, this pattern, this tutorial is actually a challenge for this weekend. So if you are planning on working on it, it will be a challenge during the weekend. Okay, so I'm gonna follow this pattern again. So I want my floral piece, which is this one. And I'm gonna go down. So I'm gonna start with the, with it like this. So the uh, right angle is on the left there. And I'm gonna go to the edge of the paper and I'm just gonna fit it in there. Then I'm gonna use my leaf pattern and now its corner is butting up to this corner here and then edge to edge. Then I put my yellow piece. So now it's gonna go back to back there we go. And then I have my green piece that's gonna go with the edge up, and then it's going to go along the edge of the paper. So I have my first zigzag. Can you see that? Isn't that fun? I love it. I, I'm serious, you guys, like I've seen this done. In fact, our Stitch Together paper pack, look at this. I've seen it, right? So I was looking at it and I was like, I know we could do this. This is the Stitch Together paper pack. This is an entire piece of paper just like this. But I thought, okay, so they did this. How could I make that? I know I can make it. And I looked, I searched, I, I did Pinterest, I did YouTube, and I was like, there's gotta be a tutorial out there. I cannot be the first person to do this. And I couldn't find one. And maybe I was searching the wrong terms, but um, I couldn't find it. So I thought, well, I can, I know I can do this. And I didn't even measure that. I just kind of like started with triangles and started like putting them on the paper and figured it out. So if I could figure it out, it must not be that hard, right? Okay, last four pieces. And then I'll show you how I made it into a card front. So if I was doing this, so this is a six inch piece of paper, right? And it works well. The zigzag is about three um, inches is what I figured because one and a half inches, one and a half inches, right? That's three. So I figured if you did this at a six inch, you'd be able to fit all your pieces perfectly. But then I did it as a 12 inch. So I was, I had a whole strip just like that. And that's how I did it on the layout. So you could do it in like three inch, six inch, nine inch increments. And I guess if you did the math and you did bigger pieces or smaller pieces, you really could do it like in any configuration. That's, this is just what I did. And then I'll show you, I had to cut it down to get it on the card, so I'll show you that too. Okay, so we're starting with the floral piece in the corner. So now my piece just goes straight up to the top corner and down, and then I have my leaves. So now everything just kind of lines up on some kind of an edge somewhere, right? Um, then I have the yellow back to back and I have the green up to the corner. Okay, so can you see right here how it doesn't go all the way to the edge? That's okay, I'm actually gonna cut that off. 
All right, so then what I did, because this card base is four and a quarter by five and a half, and my strip is four inches wide, to give that white border, I cut it to five and a quarter inches long. So what I did is I took it and I put it in my paper trimmer and I cut off three eighths of an inch on either side. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So I trimmed and then once I flipped it back over, now I know it's five, five and a quarter inches. So, and I trimmed. So here is the piece that if I had a card base sitting here, which I do somewhere, would go right on your card. Voila. And then sometimes like your angles aren't totally perfect, but guess what? When you add other things to it, when you add your sentiment, when you add things over here, it takes your eye away from those little, I guess you could say flaws. And it brings your eye to like what's actually happening here, which is the sentiment. Okay. And I really like this, um, happy and birthday from that stitch together card making stamp set and die cut. So let me show you that. It is somewhere here. Here it is. Okay. So this is the stitch together stamp and die cut, and it comes with the thin cut to make both the outline and the inside. So the outer and the inner pieces for happy. So I'll show you that. Um, this is the die cut here. So you have, and it's backwards obviously, but you have the thicker one and you have the thinner one. And the thinner one's really thin. Okay, really, really thin. So you have gotta be really careful when you're poking that out of your um, die cut machine. But I like that it has the thicker, the thinner. You can use it plain. So this one I used plain black with the white happy. And then I did on, where'd the other card go? Oh, it's on the other side of here. Huh. On this one, I did the plain white with the black on the inside. Okay, so same exact thing, just a little tiny different look. And then it has all of these other little sentiments that you could stamp. Let me pull this out. So it has everything, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversary, news for you, Wishing you, you make me so, graduation, thoughts, day, birthday, memories from, and then there's like this little stitched look here. Oh, it's got two and from, and it's got little X's for your stitches, hearts and stars, and then this piece here is happy, and it is, I don't know if you could tell, but it is kind of, oh, that's upside down. Um, it's kind of stitched, so that's where this was plain white, and then I stamped it, and you can see it's got kind of like that, mesh hash um, look to it, like little tiny, 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 tiny check boxes. So that's what that stamping looks like. So it came out white and then I just stamped it in, I think peacock blue, and then it gave it that look. And then you could put on top, so I stamped it, I could put like a white one on top of here, I could put a pink one on top of here, but it just gives this background a little bit of texture, which is cool. So I could put that here, I could just leave it Happy, I could put happy anniversary, happy graduation day, because there's a day on there too. Um, you, make, you make me so happy. I mean, I could do a bunch of different little things, but I love this stamp set because it's very, very versatile. And I really dig the, um, like the kind of blackout label looking stamps too. I really like that look. So there is my zigzag. So, um, like I said, I will, I'll put the, the, um, cutting information. It's one and a half by one and a half, just little squares of paper. And I'll put that, um, in the description of this video. That way, when you go back, if you want to follow along and create one, you can, and then keep in mind that, um, one of the challenges during this weekend is going to be to create, um, a zigzag. Actually, I can tell you it's tomorrow. Um, one of the challenges is to, going to be to use, there were, uh, there are five different like technique video instructions that have been done in this group over the last, oh, I got two months maybe. And one of them is this one. One of them is the triangles. One of them is, um, that mother's day layout, which had different triangles, the starburst and then paper strips. So there's a few techniques. So if you use one of those techniques on a project, then that's what the challenge is. So you could do this one and it would count for a challenge. How fun.
So um, thank you so much for joining me. And I love when you ask me questions, even though sometimes I might miss them. So if I missed it, I will come back and answer it. Um, but thanks for joining me in this little demonstration that I was super excited for. Um, and I hope that you will create one too. Oh, I was going to show you brushed. Okay. So this is brushed. <gasps> oh my gosh, isn't it pretty? So what Close to My Heart has been doing um, recently is every once in a while they'll do a bring back my pack. And this one is brushed. This is from, I believe about 2014. Um, so it's about, I guess you could say six years old. So this is the paper pack. And then what they do is um, the papers that these papers here were with an older color palette. So some of these colors that are in this paper pack are actually retired. So what they do is they kind of update it with current colors. And I mean, let's be honest, it looks identical, right? So this is, these are the patterns. It has the floral with this like pink kind of diamondy pattern. So let me show you because that's what that looks like. It's got diamonds with dots in the middle. And then it's the little like air, uh, not airbrush, like watercolor looking flowers in the canary yellow with um, green dots on the back. You saw that one in my card. And then this page is super cool, like all together. So it's like an ombre pink to yellow, but it's got those like, it's called bokeh um, like dots mixed in there too. It's gorgeous as a background. And then the back of that has that like kind of tealish color with the leaves okay so those are the patterns and then this is going to be the paper pack so it is a full paper pack with a sticker sheet and lately our sticker sheets have had um some kind of like foil element to them or like a uv coating so that they're shiny so you go like this and you can see like the shine to them so i'm I, i'm pretty sure that has that too and then so you can just get the paper or you can get the paper with the stickers and then oh oh they're on the back here we have a coordinating cardstock pack. So this is all gonna be available starting June 1st, which is Monday. And then this is gonna be the one you want, the brushed bundle. So this is gonna come with a paper pack and sticker sheet, even though the sticker sheet's not shown, it does say that. Um, the coordinating cardstock and then the two stamp sets. And these two stamp sets are also retired and being brought back because they coordinated with the paper pack. And when you buy the whole bundle, you get a discount. So instead of it being 50, almost $58, it's only 46. So you, it's like getting the whole paper pack plus for free. And then these are the two stamp sets. So a budding friendship. And I love this one because it has like the outline of the flower and then the inside. So you could do it in two different colors or you could do like a tone on tone where you did pink and you did like a darker pink and a lighter pink or you did... Um, like a uh, first generation, second generation, and it has the same for the leaves and it has a little stem. It's really pretty. And then butterflies, who doesn't love butterflies? So this one has all the different butterflies with some really cool sayings. So this one's called your own kind of wonderful. And this is what is coming out on June 1st. So be prepared for that. Start uh, making your plans because this one is, um, this is the bundle. And what they're doing is they're, um, they're gonna have a workshop that has layouts and cards with this stuff. And um, that workshop will be out June 1st. So as soon as that comes out, I can show you the actual designs and the the artwork because it's I've seen it like on video, but I, have, I haven't seen like photo, I don't have photos of it to show with you, to show you. But this is brushed, bring back my pack, super exciting. So thanks again for joining me and I hope you get a lot accomplished today. I hope you, um, if you're working, you can join in with us tonight and um, just enjoy your weekend, enjoy the creativity as we welcome summer into our lives, right? Have a great rest of the day, bye.